Hey, what's up guys? It's once again Christmas in July and today we'll be reviewing and raffling this KV260 AI Vision Starter Kit from Xilinx. So the KV260 AI Vision Starter Kit is based on Xilinx's Kriya K26 System On Module, which is a Wait, did I just say Xilinx's system on module? Yep, you heard that right. Xilinx is no longer just a provider of programmable logic devices. They've officially entered the embedded module business and not just with any low cost evaluation only hardware. The company's Crea line of high performance yet cost optimized SOMs, including the K26 platform at the heart of the KV260 kit, were built with volume based production in mind and they're also available in versions rated for commercial or industrial use with 0 to 85 degrees Celsius and negative 40 to 100 degree Celsius temperature support, respectively, of course. I guess this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise given that Xilinx did start shipping data center acceleration cards a couple of years ago, but it's certainly an indicator that the electronics landscape is changing. If you want to find out more about these trends, check out the links to our recent Embedded Insiders podcast that features excerpts from an interview with Xilinx CEO, Victor Pang. But enough of all that, onto the kit. So while the 119 millimeter by 140 millimeter by 36 millimeter KV260 itself isn't yet rated for production deployment, it can get you well on your way thanks to a package that includes this carrier card on the bottom, the module that we already mentioned here, and of course, what's covering the module, this fan and heat sink. The 7.5 watt to max 15 watt system needs this thermal management solution in certain applications because the SOM is designed around a high performance Zinc Ultrascale Plus MPSOC device that integrates, and get ready for this, a 1.5 gigahertz quad core ARM Cortex A53 MP core, dual core ARM Cortex R5F MP cores that clock in at about 600 megahertz, a 667 megahertz Mali 400 MP2 GPU, one to 32 stream 4K P60 video codec unit, 250K system logic cells, and 1,248 DSP slices. That represents 1.36 tops of machine learning throughput. And aside from that, there's even a 13 megapixel OnSemi AP1302 image signal, signal processor on board. All of this is accompanied by 26.6 megabits of on-chip SRAM, four gigabytes of 64-bit DDR4 on the module itself, and another 16 gigabytes of eMMC flash. It supports multiple cameras with up to eight interfaces that can be dedicated to camera purposes, including two MIPI interfaces, a Raspberry Pi camera interface, one DisplayPort 1.2a, one HDMI 1.4, four USB 3.0 interfaces. So why all that compute, memory, and interface support on an embedded system on module? Well, it's for the same reason Xilinx decided to make an AI vision module in the first place. And that's because computer vision is demanding it's hard to do, really hard to do. To simplify it, Xilinx has developed a getting started guide that engineers claim will have you up and running with the KV260 kit in under an hour, even if you don't have any prior experience with these Xilinx technologies or vision applications in general. The five-step process walks you through the board, setting up the SD card image, getting everything connected, and booting the kit, which, by the way, can be done from the aforementioned SD card or the onboard 512 megabit QSPY. After all that, the tutorial proceeds to the final step that introduces accelerated applications, which are pre-built programs that configure the kit hardware for end uses, but allow customization of things like AI models, sensors, and so on. The application outlined in the tutorial is for a smart camera, but there are also defect detection, object tracking and re-identification, license plate recognition, and other applications that you can choose from. From there, users can advance into a variety of free or paid training courses from Xilinx, and you can even earn a certificate of completion once you're done. But if you're already more advanced in all of this, don't worry. The Crea Starter Kit works with the Bovado Hardware Design Studio, Peta Linux SDK, or Vitus Software Development Environment that already includes base implementations for the KV260 for video capture and decode. And if you're looking for a place to start once you've fired up Vitus, 
You can run benchmarks through Xilinx's X multi platform management utility by simply executing the platform stats command to measure performance characteristics like power consumption, throughput, and latency. So obviously there's tons of great stuff here in Xilinx's first foray into embedded SOMs. As mentioned, the Kriya KB260 AI Vision Starter Kit comes with the module, the carrier, thermal management solution for $199. The power supply is sold separately and available for $25 on its own or as part of a $59 accessory pack that also includes a camera module, micro SD card, various cables, and so on. But one of you will be able to waive all of that cost by winning this week's raffle. All you have to do to enter is fill out the form that's linked to you on the screen and in the description below, and you could take home this very KB260 AI Vision Starter Kit free of charge. Well, actually we'll mail it to you, but it's still free. And we'll also send the power supply, which you'll have to trust me is in this box here, along with ethernet, HDMI cables, and so on. And this Logitech 4K camera that'll be really handy in your AI Vision applications. Anyway, that's it for this week. Good luck in the raffle, and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.